Welcome to another Vlogmas. So I'm going to be putting the next Vlogmas video um, over in the next couple of days. So it's going to be a Vlogmas week three instead of, um, well, week three to week four instead of like daily because the last couple of days I haven't vlogged because we haven't really been doing anything. Um, but today we're going to go and see Santa and the Grinch and I cannot wait. So I'm going to bring you guys along and show you guys um, everything that we get up to. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind, but it's just there would be no point in me posting a video on a day that we're just not doing anything um, and I don't think you guys would enjoy that anyway so yeah I'm gonna quickly head and grab us a McDonald's now before we go and then we're gonna go and see Santa and the Grinch Did you enjoy seeing Grinch and Santa? You got a person didn't you? You got a dog and Nirvana got a little unicorn Wow are you enjoying your McDonald's? Did you enjoy seeing them and you had a picture with a pony didn't you? Jasmine now, we've just come back from seeing Sandra and the Grinch and not just now, but I've come down to oh, see Jasmine. you've done the vlog. <laughs> no, we've come back from seeing Sandra and the Grinch, I've come down to show Jasmine the pictures. Um, and I also wanted to shout out Jasmine's YouTube channel because she's actually uploading a video on Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know it's a cleaning video, isn't it? It's like a bit of everything, introduction, cleaning. Oh, okay. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know, I'll link her channel down below and I want you to head over and check out her channel because she's going to do some amazing cleaning videos and all different videos all around her channel. So I want to leave you guys. Uh, you can't have the hand rule! <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to leave you guys know and leave it down link down below because I want you to go and support Jasmine as well. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I know you love some good videos, and I know I'd be obsessed with watching yeah. them as well. So. Like I am with yours. <laughs> if I'm going to say good night. Yeah. 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 Are we. Nivea? What you doing? What you doing? And Jasmine's also just bought her first home as well, her and her partner. So, they've moved. How long have you been living there now? A month. Beautiful. Wow, that's, A month. that's gone quick, mate. On the 16th. That just gone. It's gone quick. Which has gone. Mm, immensely quick. It feels like I've been here two days. Literally. I don't feel like I'm I'm, I'm settled, but I don't feel yeah. like I've owned this place for a month. Yeah, All of it I've been here for a month. But, um, yeah. Check out her channel. So it is the 20th of December today, guys. We went to see Santa yesterday. Um, and it was absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that we went. I'm so glad that we went yesterday because so much has happened since I last spoke to you guys. Um, from the last vlog that I posted, we have now been put into lockdown as of midnight last night. So we're in lockdown at the moment. Um, we were told that we were going to be put into lockdown on the 28th um, and all like shops and non-essential retail were going to close um, after Christmas Eve. So, and they weren't allowed to open after that point. Um, but they brought it forward really unexpectedly, no warning at all to us all. Um, and now we've been put on lockdown and so it's really unfair to all people that don't get paid yet like some a lot of people get paid next week um and i've left like a few last bits that i need to grab for this week um and when they said that they were going to put us on lockdown on the 28th we all had that hope that we could finish our christmas shopping the last week of christmas and we don't have to worry but instead they decided to put that hope in and completely change the plans now we're in lockdown and it's just all gone downhill to be honest with you guys and i just feel so sorry for the people that haven't finished their christmas shopping yet i'm in a very fortunate situation that i have managed to finish my christmas shopping but i just feel so sorry for the people that don't have pay yet and haven't been able to you know get christmas presents or 
you know are struggling because now they're stuck that they can't even go and get those toys that would have been in maybe a non-essential shop that's now closed i think it's just horrible the way that it's been done um they really should have given us a lot more notice because if we would have known that we were going to be put into lockdown today um like last week then we could have got all that done and just find ways to do it even if we didn't receive pay like i said luckily i'm not in that situation but i just feel so bad for the people that are now struggling um people are just in really bad situations at the moment and it's not nice at all and as if this year hasn't been bad enough it's just really really horrible um but i just wanted to come on and say to you guys that basically we had a fab day yesterday i'm so happy that we went because if we would have left it any later we wouldn't have been able to go um but they had a fab time i would have already inserted some pictures for you guys to see Kada absolutely loved the horses he was standing by the horse saying horse horse he loved it um and ivana was very interested in the unicorn um that she was standing by it was a horse but it was just as a unicorn and she was interested in the like little horn that was coming out of the unicorn's head um and every photo you could see she's just following the horn as the horse moves his head it's really cute um Kada did not like santa to say the least he cried he would not look at him but he absolutely loved the grinch and that's typical of my child to love the grinch over santa um but we had a fab time i'm so happy that they went and they got to see santa but what i wanted to do now guys is really quick i had to go down to Trostra yesterday um because as soon as it was announced at five o'clock i think it was that we were going into lockdown at midnight everybody everybody was down Trostra, um going shopping trying to get their last minute spits but i was in a queue most probably for over half an hour trying to get into pre-mark and it got worse and worse and worse like it was all the way back to the gates if you live in the Tlanty area and you've seen Trostra and you've seen how it's all cornered off at the moment honestly the queues are all the way back to the back gate and there's been pictures going around on Facebook and I'm pretty sure I'm in one of them and um, you can just see my long coat of me standing in the queue um but oh my god Trostra was manic we were all queuing around roundabouts and I think they've just made the situation worse in a sense because now everybody's just gone and rushed out um and obviously there's going to be more contact so i, I don't know i think they should have just kept it the 28th and that way would, people wouldn't be rushing about obviously people are rushing but it's they've made it like 10 times worse now because everybody's just panicking um but the reason that i've come on guys is because i went into pre mac yesterday i need to go and get a few bits i'll need it to grab me some um pajamas for christmas and some slippers but of course he had to stay here with the baby so i went ahead and went down to pre mac picked them myself and got them um off they he's bought them but they're off him but i've picked them if that makes sense um and it's easier in a sense because then i know that i'm gonna like them and i'd be grateful for anything anyway but he prefers it if he knows that i'm gonna like it basically um but i thought i would quickly show you guys everything that i got because i did get quite a bit and these things that i'm showing you guys are for Kat and Amanda for christmas i grabbed some clothes for them um but i quickly just thought i would share it with you guys because there's some really cute bits in here and i just have love them the bag is fun of them <laughs> Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So this is the first thing that I um, picked up. So it's a little Minnie Mouse onesie. Carter used to have this onesie but in blue. Um, and I just thought it was so cute. And it's one of the things that I'm going to keep for Carter. And will definitely be something that I keep for Nirvana as well. And this was only five, oh, sorry, six pound. You cannot go wrong. Um, and this is just like an extra pyjama set for Nirvana for Christmas. Um, not to wear. They've, they've actually got Christmas Eve pyjamas. Um, and they're the ones from Disney Store, but these are like little extras to wear on my Christmas day and um, for Christmas night and things like that. So I brought those for Nirvana. You will see that there's a lot more in this bag for Nirvana than there is for Carter because the last time that I went to Primark was in Swansea and I got a bunch of stuff for Carter in that Primark because there was a lot more there that I liked for him. Um, it's mad how much how different different Primark shops are, like some stocks certain things and the other stocks different stuff. And there was just a lot more for Carter in the Swansea store. Um, but I ended up picking up this little jumper and I also got the matching trousers for this one as well, if I can find them. Then these are the matching trousers, so it's just a little jumper that says happy and then it's also got the little logo here as well on the trousers here. And I thought this was just like a really nice lounge set, um, especially because of everything that's going on at the moment. I wasn't going out to buy them like really fancy clothes. Like normally I would buy Nirvana loads of Spanish clothes um because i absolutely love spanish clothes in Nirvana, and i still do and she still got some for christmas as well but i wanted to buy more like comfortable like leggings joggers and like 
comfy clothes that they're going to be in the house because with lockdown at the moment that is what they're going to be and they're going to be in the house all the time so I'm not going to like put jeans on them I'm not going to put like you know nicer clothes that are going out clothes then I would rather than just be comfy if that makes sense um so then I went ahead and picked up another little lounge set for Nirvana you, these are absolutely amazing price by the way guys so the jumpers that I just showed you as well are all three pound and then they also have the matching trousers for three pound as well so that's a six pound set guys and i think that's absolutely amazing but this just has like those little flower um like blue flower detailing on them and again it's the same uh set as that one basically just in a different print and i've got these all in the age 18 to 24 months she is not in that size yet um she's still in 9 to 12 and 18 sorry 9 to 12 and 12 to 18 um, but I didn't want to get them in a smaller size because I'd rather her grow into them. Um, and especially as they're for Christmas as well. But then I went ahead and picked up this little jumper as well. This was again £3. Um, I was going to be honest with you guys because they didn't have the, tro uh, the trousers in her size um, for this set. So I just picked up the jumper because it was really cute. And she can just wear this with some like little cosy leggings. But I picked that up for her as well. Then I went ahead and picked up this jumper. Nirvana hasn't actually got a jumper at all in her wardrobe and I thought this was so so cute it just says hello in a different um a bunch of different languages and it's like this cool pink and white tie-dye pattern and this was actually in the um the older girl section I think it is age one and a half to seven I think it is or maybe age six um but I got it in age one and a half to two which is the smallest size they had there so it may be a little bit big on her at the moment but she could definitely wear it as like a little jumper dress with some leggings until it does grow in to fit her properly and this was also only five pound as well guys. Then I went ahead and picked up another little jumper and jogger set for Nirvana so I've got this one it's a little pink star one again like I said these are just going to be a bunch of lungs that she's able to wear in the house and obviously of course out of the house as well and these are things that are going to keep her warm as well for the winter going into the start of January as well so I picked up that one and again they were both £3 each so a £6 set then I also picked up this top oh my god I fell in love with this top when I saw this and it just says smile sparkle and shine and again this was in the older clothes um as well but I picked this up in the age one and a half to two as well so this may be a little bit big on her but she will definitely grow into it again she can just wear this with some cozy leggings as well but I thought that was so cute then the one thing that we needed um for Christmas Eve was a dressing gown for Cardis. So Nirvana's got a dressing gown. We ended up seeing a really lovely set for Nirvana on Disney Store. It's a Minnie Mouse set. Um, so we're gonna have them for Nirvana for Christmas Eve, but it came with a dressing gown and we bought pajamas for Carter from the Disney store as well and they had lovely pajamas there but the dressing gowns weren't as nice so we didn't bother getting a dressing gown from there but I went into Primark and I found this and I thought this was so cute and um, so it's just a, like a little grey camo dressing gown and it's got this like a little luminous green um detail in here as well but I thought this was just really really nice I thought it was you know it doesn't look even though he's only a little little boy um I just like camo on him even though it's like an older boy's kind of you know pattern if that makes sense i don't even know if that makes sense but um like there was a spider-man that one there as well but the pajamas that he's got for christmas eve are the toy story um dinosaur the t-rex so i didn't want to go for a spider-man dressing because it just wouldn't go with it even though it would be fine anyway but i thought this would go with it a lot better and especially with the luminous green here as well because he does have green on those pajamas because the t-rex is green um, I thought this would just go really nice as well and it's so cozy and it's so soft as well and this was so cheap as well guys this was only £7 for a dressing gown and again I got this in the age I think it was three to four I want to say uh yeah three to four years so Kada is actually in two to three at the moment but he's also in some things three to four so I went for the bigger size for him because this is something that can be really oversized anyway but um that's what I got for Carter and then I also picked up these for Carter as well so again running with the same theme here for Carter um this wasn't intentional by the way guys but I just really like these so I got him some joggers again in the size of three to four they're just the camo pattern and they also had um a jumper there as well to go with it so like a normal jumper not a zipper puddy um and I thought this would just be so nice I love him in like matching outfits like co outfits um and I just thought this was really nice and the joggers were only how much were the joggers? Uh, the joggers were £4.50 and the jumper was £4. So that's an £8.50 set, guys, and you really can't go wrong. I absolutely love this set. I can't wait to put this one on him. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything I got then for Captain Nirvana. Then the last two things I'm going to show you guys 
um off Al, but I picked them. Um, so they're gonna be for me for Christmas. So I picked up these goddess slippers. They also have these in white, but I thought that they were just gonna get stinking, even though I really, really love the white ones. They were so nice, and they've already got white fluff inside of them as well. I was actually with my sister, my sister ended up picking up the same slippers, but she got them all in white. Um, and I absolutely love them, but I just knew with my two toddlers. They would get stinking so quickly so i went for the pink color which will match my dressing gown as well so it's a win-win and these are only five pound as well guys which you cannot go wrong and uh, they are absolutely gorgeous i did also like a a mini mouse set there as well um it was like a pink the same style as this slipper basically but like a darker fuchsia pink then and it had mini mouse on them but they didn't have my side they only had um three to four and that's normally the side that's left all the rest of them have gone um, and I'm a size 5, so I needed a size 5 to 6. But then I went ahead and picked up my pyjamas off Al. These are my Christmas Eve pyjamas. You guys know how obsessed I am. If you've been watching my videos for a long time and following along with Vlogmas as well, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with fluffy pyjamas. And I went ahead and found these Marie pyjamas. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot explain how obsessed I am with these. These are so so cozy and gorgeous and it's got marie's face on there as well i didn't expect them to be as bright as they are but they're definitely a lovely color um so i think these are gonna go lovely with these and my dressing gown as well so i cannot wait to have these um i think we are giving our pajamas to each other on christmas eve so i bought our pajamas as well he's got marvel ones off me um so i'm pretty sure i'll be having these on christmas eve i don't know about the slippers whether i'll be having them on christmas eve but we will see um but i will definitely be having these on christmas eve so i'm really grateful for those and i absolutely love them but i just thought i would quickly show you guys what i got just to build up this vlog as well a little bit because i know it's kind of going to be kind of an all over the place vlog because i'm not doing that daily vlog up until this point because there is just not a lot going on especially in, the, in lockdown it's a lot harder to be able to do anything and to show you guys so what i'm going to do is from the last um vlog that i posted i'm going to just basically i think it was what day was it i think it was the 17th was the last day i vlogged so it'll be a basically a weekly vlog from the 18th to most probably today or tomorrow um, so you guys will not be seeing this vlog tomorrow. It's the 20th today. You won't be seeing the 21st. But um, yeah, I thought I would quickly show you guys those. All right, so it's day 21 of Vlogmas, guys. And I'm just about to head out to go and do our massive Christmas shop. I'm so excited. I love doing the Christmas shop. Unfortunately, because we've been put into lockdown, Al and the babies can't come. Um, it's only one person from house, like one person per household to go shop in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Christmas shop. I've got to go to Asda, and I'm probably go to Farm Foods as well, depending on what I can get. Um, but I'm really excited. But I know that there's gonna be queues like mad. People are panicking. People are panic buying. Oh, and it's just stressing me out. Like, there's no need to panic buy because all grocery shops are open. Um, but obviously, this has made things worse. But I'm going to go ahead now and do a Christmas shop, and hopefully, I can get everything that I need. Um, but I'm really excited to be doing it. And what I'm going to do is show you guys a massive haul of what I get when I get back. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, head out, and come back. And it's absolutely pouring down as well. That's why I've got I've got this massive coat on, and it's not even mine; it's ours. So it kind of does, does look like really big on me. Um, but it's just really cozy, and it's like tidy bear face inside. So it's going to keep me warm because the two coats that I have, one of them is just the stitching has just come loose on it so i'm absolutely good at one of my favorite coats and that's the only one i've got with the hood and then my other big coat that you guys normally see me wear with the like fur and around the collar hasn't got a hood and i'm not standing in the rain i'm gonna get soaked with it a hood so i've put al's coat on hopefully nobody will be able to notice but we'll see but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling on now and go and get my christmas shop done all right guys i'm back home now i've done our christmas food shop i also have a big bag here that i've sorted out that i'm going to donate to a food bank or to somebody in need that needs food because we have this just sitting here and i do not need it so i'm going to give this to somebody who actually needs it um but i've done a massive food shop guys i'm going to show you guys but i'm going to have to go through it pretty quick so i'm going to go through bag by bag um i would normally lay it out for you guys to see but there's just so much and i've been quite a while now so i've sorted the fridge and the freezer to get everything in so i'm going to go through bag by bag with you guys just show you guys what we've got really quickly because otherwise it's going to defrost so here's a few of the bits that i've just got laying out we've got our turkey for christmas dinner i've got some ready break some little 
Christmas tree pretzels, some sweet and sour sauce, uh, lasagna sauces, two bottles of Coke. We got a fajita kit, a big crate of Budweiser. These are Al's, and this is mine. I got this is brand new as well. This is the rose prosecco. I got prosecco last year for Christmas, um, but I didn't know that they did the rose, but it's brand new apparently. And then we've got this little Christmas pudding chocolate cake. Um, I do not like Christmas pudding at all, but when I saw that this was um. Belgian chocolate filled in the middle um like a chocolate cake i had to get that so that's just a few bits out then i also have a few bits over here as well so we've got some eggs some kipling slices chocolate swirls the christmasy um mr kipling's some milk um lemonade two bags of crisps we've got some squash some j2o for the babies for christmas and i've got some oil as well and then i'm gonna go quickly go through the bags for you guys you can also get rolls as well guys and some bread um, and then I think in here there's most of the veg. So we've got some broccoli. I also got some sauces for stir fry. So we got sweet chili and garlic. And my nails have come off as well, guys. I'm absolutely devastated. Um, so I'm just I've kept them to glue them back on. Um, but we got chomain sauces because we like to do the little stir fries with noodles. Um, I got another broccoli. We've got some carrots. All the veg are down at the moment as well. So we've, they're all like 20p, which is amazing. I got some asparagus. This isn't for Christmas dinner. This is just for meals in general. We've done a pretty big shop, guys. Um, this is going to last us probably around four weeks. So this isn't just like a week's shop. And this is also including Christmas as well. Some baby potatoes. We've got some cauliflower as well. They are actually for the baby stockings. I've got I had them in the cupboard, so I need to wrap them. Um... Another bag of carrots, some sprouts, um, two big bags of potatoes are in there. And I also have all of this as well to go through with you guys. So I got the mango and coconut chicken. There was like a three for ten offer in Tesco's on those. Um, some pickles, because it's not Christmas if you don't have cheesy pickles. Some party food as well. We've got some mac and cheese bites. Um, some corn dogs um we've got another curry chinese curry this make as well is absolutely amazing if you haven't tried it honestly try it it's so so good we've got some carrot and potato waffles for the babies um some vegetables from rose carter loves those um some cocktail sausages we've got um tomato and garlic sauce for um bolognese that's the receipt um, we've got some vegetable spring rolls. Oh, I just saw those. I picked them up again. <laughs> um, these, Karen and Amanda love these as well. They're cheese straws. We've got some chicken safari animals. Again, for the babies. Some Yorkshire's. Some Bernard Matthews uh, sandwiches. We've also got uh, chicken char grills. We've got... Um, a bag of like mixed stir fry veg because we like to do that with the stir fry kit and also the noodle stir fries. I also got some peas. Moving on to this big bag here. So we've got a bunch of snacks in here, I think. So them are for the babies, the yoga things. We've got a couple of bags of Christmas flavoured crisps. So we've got pigs and blankets. We also got some of these for the babies as well. These run off as I don't normally get this mix. It's quite expensive. Um, and you can get the cheaper versions, which I taste exactly the same. Um, I don't know. They're just quite expensive. But they run off today, so I picked them up. I got these for the babies to snack on. Another pack of Christmas crisps. These are the turkey and stuffing ones. The hand-cooked crisps as well. It's so good. And then we've also got these ones, which are the Winston and Cranberry flavour as well. And then I picked up some cereal for the babies as well. Like I said, this shop is supposed to last us for a good, good, good while. Um, I picked up these because Kat and Havana love these as well. Some cheese twists. Again, like something, just little nibbly bits that we can all have in between food and things like that. Some party rings for the babies. I also picked up some hot chocolate because you can't have Christmas Eve and Christmas without hot chocolate. The only thing I did forget was um, cream, but I didn't pick that up from co-op. Um, I got these because I thought they were very seasonal appropriate. Little ginger, mini bread gingers. Mini bread gingers? Mini bread. Mini gingerbread man. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get that out. <laughs> um, jam and cream biscuits. The babies absolutely love like little biscuits as little snacks as well. So moving on. And this shop, by the way, guys, it's all done in Asda. I also had two bags of um, 
from fan foods as well the turkey is also from fan foods because as i had none then it was absolutely manic um i got this hunter's chicken fillet this is again um the three for two with the chicken i just showed you guys and then this was also in the offer as well these taste absolutely amazing the on quotes um i also got another offer then for three for two so i got a big pack of meatballs because i'm planning on doing spaghetti bolognese as well as some lasagna obviously the meatballs won't be in the lasagna um they'll go in the spaghetti bolognese because i can't have bolognese without meatballs so i got another two of those i've got some sausages because this year we're going to make some sausages with christmas dinner because the babies won't eat turkey i'm obviously going to still give it to them and hope that they may try it um but i just got the sausages because i know that they will actually eat those i got two different flavor ones we've got maple and bacon ones and brimley and apple sausages which both taste amazing as well and i actually also got these this year um the pigs and blankets i don't tend to buy these because i'm not a fan um but i'm sure the babies might like these as well so i picked those up and then the last thing in this bag was some bacon then moving on to a fan foods bag um i more or less went into here for the turkey um, but i did pick up some eight chinese style forks i also got a large bag of salmon portions these are amazing um and i also got pork loin steaks I hope this is going to fit in my freezer because there's a lot here. Um, some haddock fillets. Some crispy pancakes, cheese ones there for the babies. And then I saw these as well, which look amazing. So it's a chicken, um, chicken and bacon creamy pasta. And they were three for three pounds as well. So they're only a pound a bag. And then I also got some um, SFC uh, popcorn chicken for the babies as well. Yes, so let's start with this one. What have we got here? So we've got barbecue chicken char grills, we've got some burgers, which I'll actually want to know. Um, it's a little bit early, I thought we would have them for tea, but we'll see. Um, southern fried chicken ones as well, the char grills. We've got some more party foods, the, these are the cheese and bacon um, party food. I've got some lasagna sheets, I went for the fresh egg lasagna sheets this time because they last quite a while. They go off on the 9th of February so it's no rush to make them. I got two um, ham and cheese pizzas, again for the babies, some yogurts for them, pepper pig ones and Paw Patrol ones. I've got two bags of fresh um, fusilli pasta as well because I absolutely love the fresh pasta. I have got normal pasta here as well. Um, then I got these prawn toast stars. So I got a bunch of party food basically for Christmas Eve and my Boxing Day if we decide to have some. But I'm sure we'll have dinner left over to have on Boxing Day. I got some stuff in for Christmas dinner. Some butter. Um, some mayonnaise because I've got some bits to make homemade coleslaw. Um, so we're going to have that as well. I got some mozzarella to put in the lasagna. Some chicken roll for sandwiches. Snacks and ham. And um, again for snacks, what else have we got? So we've got some cheese to make the cheese sauce for the cauliflower. We've also got some cheese. I absolutely love doing the shop as well, guys. It's just actually the, the how manic it was today was just mad. We've got a sharing selection box of meats. We've got two tubs of Philadelphia because I absolutely love having bell peppers for Philadelphia. It tastes amazing and some herbs on top. And then the last thing in here, is some gravy granules as well if you're wondering what that is as well guys that's ice um i've just kind of scraped all off the ice in the the freezer because it tends to over freeze um so i had to scrape some ice off i got some foil we've got some pickles i've never been a fan of these but these actually taste really nice in burgers so i picked up a jar of those we've got these again these are something that is a great snack so tomato and mozzarella um it's tomato and chorizo pasta and i thought these would be like a quick easy lunch um if when you know it needs to be in a rush or anything like that some pot noodles i got two of those king size chicken and mushroom oh, oh, oh.